Ah, the Black Mountain at night. What a nice, relaxing area that has been way too long since I've been to. Um, time for unique monsters here. Let's see here. First one, Agile Barbatos at night. Let's see here. They apparently spawn right here. Apparently. I wish there were more landmarks so it'd be easier to get there faster. So he's apparently at the end over here during the nighttime. And it is nighttime. Probably still be nighttime by the time we get there. So we should be a okay. Man, the freaking beams of the crystals of Black Mountain are so cool. Like, the world in general of this game is just so cool. So, oh, like, way up this way. It looks like. So we have a little bit of run-in to do. If only we had, like, the mobility options of Xenoblade Chronicles X. If only we did. So much easier to get from point A to point B in that game. So it's apparently up in, like, this corner here somewhere. I don't think I've ever been up here before. A Tomizic Anzel. At first I thought that was a unique boss, but it didn't have, like, the marker of a unique boss. Like, it sounded like something that was, you know, spicy enough to be a unique boss name. But I guess not. So this corner, huh? I don't see it. Did I kill it already? Apparently it's, like, way in the corner. Oh, it must be over there. It just spawned in. Heck yeah! Oh, you have Spike! That's annoying. Shulk it is. Oh yeah, Shulk moves so much faster with those gems. I guess I could always switch to Shulk just for, like, movement. Is what I could do. Could always do that, I suppose. Free, stop moving me! I'm trying to get my side attacks out here. Oh, we're kind of shredding through these guys. So, uh... Well... Let's, uh, target this one. Let's maybe target this one. Dunban doesn't want to take too much damage from the spike. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to activate Monado. And, uh, take off the spike. Take off the spike, me thinks. And then we'll just kind of shred him. Or we'll even do this. Okay, well. Goodbye, I guess. <laughs> goodbye. He's just gonna be dead. Bye. Affinity coin, sweet. Maybe I'll just be Shulk for going from point A to point B and then switch to Melly just for the... Oh, did I get a heart manual? Awesome. For, I think, something that I'll probably never even use. But, uh... Alright, what's next? What is next here? There's Avalanche Abbacy at level 120. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now, but I will mark them on my map. And it's only after Mechanis Core. Night and Blizzard, apparently. Alright, where does he spawn? I will mark him on my map for now. Is what I will do. Let's see here. He is apparently right... Right up here. Just, like, chilling over here. So I'll mark that on my map. So he's, like, one of the super bosses of the game. At level 120. I've never tackled a single super boss in previous playthroughs of this game. I think this time will probably be my first time doing that. Then there's Banquet Vasago. Unique monster quest exclusive. Wait. It's one of the targets of a balance of power on Vlack Mountain. So I probably already did that. I can make doubly sure. Right there. Yes, yeah, so I've already taken out those two. Nice. There's Banquet, whatever his name is. Amber Bark, Citri, the next one. So I've already taken them both out. That seems like. Then there's Blizzard Belgazaz, which is another super boss of the game at level 114. After Mechanis Core. So I'll mark him on my map at least. So I know where he is. Apparently after Mechanis Core events, he's just going to be like chilling right down here. Apparently, so I'll mark that on my map. That'll probably be pretty tough. Um, let's see here. Alright, so I marked him on the map. There's Conflagrant Raxiel, which is apparently only during the Magma Rock quest. Which is a story quest? Story exclusive and quest exclusive unique monster. So I must have for sure already done that. Freaking Magma Rock. 
Cool. So he must already be defeated. Surely. Um, and then... Also, I just realized if I do play as Shulk, like, just in case I actually do fight anybody with him. Let me look at my skill trees. I might put in Rain as my alternate tank. Freaking... <laughs> yeah, because I can still get some affinity with him. Or I could throw in Ricky, but, like, he doesn't tank things a whole lot. He doesn't keep aggro a whole lot of the time. I could throw in Ryan. That's what I could do. And then it doesn't matter too much if I stick with Fiora or... Whoops. Right as I say that. With Fiora or Dun... With Fiora or Shulk. Dang it, I can't even words today. Alright, let's see here. There's Final Marcus. That, uh... Wait, no. First of all, there's Exposure or Woeful. Which you can do any time after retrieving the Mega Rock. But he's at level 97, so I'm probably not going to do him... Quite yet, I think. Oh, so I guess that replaces the... Thing for the story quest. After retrieving the Ragma Rock. It takes the place of Conflagrant Rosia... Roxia once its related quest is completed. Okay. So it's just going to be at the end of that cave, I guess. So I'll mark it on my map. That's what I will do, like that. Be sure to come back there later. When I'm much stronger. So then. So that's Exposure Woeful. Then there's Final Marcus, which is also at Three Sage Summit. One of the super bosses is over... Over level 99. Wait. Although whether the final Marcus should be considered a super boss has been the subject of a debate. For the purpose of the wiki, he has been included in the list. I'm pretty sure super boss is just any monster over level 99. Apparently final Marcus isn't very hard though from what I, what I hear. So he's just also up there. So I could put like two down as a reminder that hey, there's supposed to be two of them here. Right at three stage summit. Alright, what's next? There is... Glorious Boer. Wonky name. Let's see here. So then. That is going to be... A Turkin thing. Right about... Here. I might have already killed it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have. How do I get in? Something during some side quest way later on, I guess. It must be. Excuse me. I must get down here. I've got places to be. So it must be like right in there. It looks like it's on that hill. Any other notes that I should know maybe? I think I've already killed them before. It seems familiar to me. And I'm pretty sure I've already taken him out before. Is he out at any time? Let me check here. Yes, time any. Wait, I need to go up this hill here. I need to go up this bit right here. And apparently he'll be over there. I think I've already taken him out though. I think I have. I'm not 100% certain. But I'm pretty sure I have. Let's scooch around this way. Too much running in this game. Too much of it. I spend more time just going from point A to point B for these unique bosses than actually fighting them. There you are. So I guess I'll take you out just in case I haven't already. Just in case I have not. Hi there. Time to die. Boopy we'll bop. Well, I guess we'll find out if I've taken you out before. Either we get an affinity coin or we don't. Well, time to put on haste and then freaking shred you guys with auto attacks. Time to just shred you with auto attacks, methinks. Time to shred you. Boop. Well, Neat. Yeah, now we just shred you. Now we just kind of shred through your health. <laughs> so, I mean... Oh, I didn't take him out. Thank goodness I came here. I didn't have him take him out before. Thank goodness I came up here and got that affinity coin in that case. So that was Glorious Boor, huh? So what's next? Next one is Hidden Gamigan at night. And he spawns... I might have fought him before. Right on this thing, apparently.
I might have already killed him. I might have. I have to go, like, way around. I'm going to switch to Shulk because I have the gem for, like, additional movement speed on him. Yet they're a bit faster. So apparently he beat... Apparently that's him right there. So I guess we have a long way around to go before we, uh... Before we get there. At least I did see him. Did he despawn? What? Did he now? Where'd you go? I saw you earlier. Well, we go way around. We go way around to go up that slope and, uh, get up there. Too much running around from point A to point B in this game, I swear. Too much moving. But I gotta get up this slope. All the way down there. Always too much running. Too much moving from point A to point B in this game. Way too much of it. I'm spending way longer doing like everything I can around the world and this little break of story stuff than I was expecting to. I must say. But it's also nice to get as much stuff as I can done get done right now. I know a lot of stuff gets blocked off after events at Makana's Core. Not this stuff, but like... <laughs> a lot does, so may as well do as much as I can to be better off safe. So I think it's you. Are you Mr. Unique Boss? Not you. Or the big dude over here. Man, look at that tower, though. Minato wasn't in the way. Let me target you. There we go. Whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> it's so strange how there's like the two different pause buttons that always throws me off. Switch to few army things. Alright, freaking get over here. Oh, there's a bunch of items over here, too. Get over here. Get on over. He's not even getting over here. I guess I'll just attack from here. Guess I'll just do that. I'll do my few effects. Me thinks. Give myself some haste. And then we're gonna do, like, massive damage with just auto attacks like this. Now we're just gonna do massive damage, I think. And it fills up the party gauge a lot as well. So, I mean... So, I mean, yeah, so that, uh, it definitely does a lot of damage, doesn't it? My goodness. Sweet affinity coin. I guess I never took him out earlier. Cool. More affinity coins. I'll grab these things while I'm here. Watch one be an ice cabbage. Imagine if I put a, picked up an ice cabbage somewhere along here while I, while I wasn't even paying attention. Dang. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Dang, man. One item I'm missing from this area. So that was Hidden Gimigin or Gamigin or whatever the heck. Then there's Moonlight Paimon in Lava Cave, which is a freaking ether thing. Um, In the same room in which the party acquires the Magma Rock by defeating that one unique boss. I can later encounter the Exposure Wolfel, who hopefully wouldn't come out to attack me. So it's in like that same room, I guess, if we go deep into the cave. If I can bait him out, maybe. Maybe, maybe. While we're going around, I'll try to pay attention to these items that you can't see on the right. Can't see what I'm getting. But I can see what I'm getting, and I'll try to pay attention to see if one's an ice cabbage. Ether gems over here. I'll just yoink him. Or ether crystals, I should say. I'll just yoink him while I'm here. Sure. I'll yoink them crystals. Sounds good to me. Excuse me, I've got places to be. So it's apparently one of these red kind of nebula things. Apparently. Apparently so, so let's go find them. I might have already defeated them when I was, like, fighting the... Can I walk on this? It doesn't even damage me? Okay, it does damage me. Okay. I was about to say... That didn't even damage me. Yeah, I might have potentially, like, already defeated this dude when fighting that one unique boss. He's apparently replaced with a tougher unique boss. Oh, there's the one that I'm looking for. And there's the one that I can't, that I'm not strong enough to fight right now. But you're the one that I'm actually looking for. I'll fight that guy later. <laughs> this is what I'll do. 
I'll fight that one dude another time. That's what I will do. Because he's way too tough. Maybe we'll concentrate on this one. Time to do massive damage with auto attacks. That's what we do. Oh my goodness, we freaking shred him! Holy crap. Well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, I guess. Oi, why are you discouraged? That's free hearts at least. Oh, Fiora's discouraged. Someone inspire. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, he has spike. Oh, it must be like a tension down spike. It doesn't seem like it's doing any damage to us. Corona eruption? That doesn't sound like social distancing to me, that art. What, what are these guys doing here now? What the heck? We're gonna for sure want to kill him with a chain attack so that he doesn't explode. And, like, take away my official kill of him. Hmm, encourage. Yeah, it's a freaking tension down spike. Cool. Alright, let's do a chain attack so that we for sure take him out before he freaking self-destructs because these nebula things like to do that. Sword drive. Cool. Did we get an affinity coin from that? She doesn't even have any elementals active, are you kidding me? Oh well, red art. You must suffer more. Dang, oh well. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so that dude's for sure defeated now. Neat. Neat, neat. There's nothing around here that can beat us. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure that level 97 dude over there could freaking wipe the floor with us. Or whatever you say. Why don't you like these items without him caring? Awesome. <laughs> awesome, good to see. Okay, what's left? So we just took out Moonlight Paimon. So next is North Star Grujan. I might have already taken him out, potentially. I sort of remember that. Hold on. Flying off the west edge of Oral Crevice. And apparently only during Snowstorm. So like right here, flying off that edge. I'm very certain I've taken him out already. I, I'm pretty darn certain about that. It seems very, very familiar to me. So I'm gonna I'm assume that I've taken him out. I would bet money that I've taken him out. That's North Star Gushin, Gushin, whatever the heck. Then there's Vague Barbass, which is another elemental thing, Bob. Um, let's see here. We found in that area. Yada yada. Can be reached by starting at Zockhead Past heading. Wait, where is he? First of all, let's look at the map for where he is. Apparently upper level, right here. Apparently. Right there. Starting at Zockhead Pass. What? Oh, I guess that's if you don't have the this area unlocked yet. Because he should just be down there during any time, apparently. Apparently at any time. So I guess if I head down this way. Oh, I was just trying to freaking jump down. Here we go. Jump on down. Still not getting any ice cabbages, though. So down here somewhere at any time, and it's an ether dude. Hopefully I haven't killed him already. I hope. Because if I have, then I'm just going to be confused and be like, why isn't he here? Did I kill him before? I have no idea because there's no way to know for sure. So hopefully I haven't. That way I can just like, for sure, take him out. Aha! Aha! Do they all have tension down spike? Do they all? Because that would be very good for me to, uh... What, you can't reach him, Ryan? Okay, cool. Because, yeah, tension down spike will help me get, like, a whole bunch of affinity with all my teammates. Like that, with encouraging. Sweet, free affinity. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna get some free strength. I'm gonna paralyze you guys. Then I'm gonna get haste, and then I'm gonna spam auto attacks and freaking shred you. Is what I'm gonna do. Well, time for auto attacks up the yin yang. Okay, encourage. Or free hearts. You love to see it. Someone needs to encourage Fiora. But can I not auto attack from here? That sucks. Well, oh, there we go. Okay, encourage. There we go. More additional free hearts. Wonderful. I'll probably just use auto attack and keep shredding you. I appreciate the encouragement. Ice eruption. Please don't explode. 
Wait, he exploded, but he didn't, like, die. What? I'm confused. I've never seen that before. I need to take you out right now before you potentially explode for real? Maybe the unique bosses of these guys don't do that? Maybe? I don't know. We need to take him out, like, right now. Okay. Affinity coin, so we didn't take him out before. Cool. Sweet. One more affinity coin added to... Added to my stash. Okay, so that was... That was Vag Barbas. It seems. There's one left who's too high of level for me to even take on right now. Level 98. Wandering Amon. An X thing. I'll just mark him on my map to remind me for later. That's what I'll do. So, he's apparently right over here. So I'll just mark him for later. Because I can't take him on right now. At night time. At night, it seems. So what areas are left? So there's Valak Mountain. Sword Valley, I did them all because that area is blocked off. Galhead Fortress, I did them all because that's blocked off. McConaughey Field, Central Factory, and Agnir, they're all done. So just Fallen Arm, I guess. Fallen Arm, I guess, is all that's left. And then I'll have done all the unique bosses that I have the strength to do right now. Or just even, you know, spawned on the map right now. Because there's a bunch that only become available, like, way after. Is the case. So, let's see here. I get an alphabetical order. We'll start with Affluent Beleth. It's like Byleth, but super butchered. Oh, I think I already took him out. I'm fairly certain. Oh, yeah, I for sure took out this dude. This freaking Oopa dude who's, like, here. I have I know for sure I took out that dude. I've taken him out a couple times, I think. I'm fairly certain. I must have him taken out. Um, then there is Aged... Laraje at night. Who's like a wolf thing. Is it nighttime right now? It is. Not for a whole lot longer. And I might have taken him out already. I can double check. Apparently he's down here. Apparently he's down this way in probably that group. I might have taken him out already. Dang it, daytime. <laughs> nighttime. Nighttime I need. So he might be down here. It must be this big one, right? There we go. It is the big one. Your title is misleading, by the way. I th I think I could have beaten this game by last month. It would be a better fit. Well, <laughs> beat it plus more. <laughs> beat it plus more. More than just beating it. But doing a whole lot in this. And there's always so much to do. Okay. Time to get haste. And then we just shred everybody with auto attacks. Time to shred you next. Time to just kind of shred through your health. Get over here. I'm shredding through your health. Get over here. Cool. Cool. Well, we'll get some free hearts with the chain attack, I guess. That's what we'll do. Well. Kaboom. Well. Boopity bop. Dang it. The chain attack didn't get extended. Oh, well. Oh, well. What you gonna do? I did not mean to do that. Well, I just wasted that. It's gonna take forever to recharge now. Another affinity coin. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, what's next? So that was Age Laraje. The next one in alphabetical order is Ancient Daedala, which is a super boss at level 105. Which, like, is way after. Like, way at end game events. I'll mark him on my map, at least. Apparently, he's like a really tough mech on dude. Who will be later in the game right here, it looks like. Okay, who's after Ancient Deldala? There's Evil Bathin. I've defeated this dude twice, I know for a fact. He's the dude that's like right in there. Because I defeated him once on my own, and then I got a quest that had me defeat him. So I wound up doing it twice, and it was annoying. There's Powerful Eligos, which is at level 80, but I should be able to take him on. He's a big spooder dude, apparently. Where is he? Wait, is there a time that it needs to be? Any, it says. Okay. And uh, he's apparently on digit 1 over, over here. Like, way at the end or something? Level 80, I should be able to take him on. Should be able to. 
I might switch to a slightly safer party because I know that Ricky can heal a little bit. And also just do lots of damage over time stuff. I mean, Melia is very good at doing a whole lot of damage. But then at least I can have... I think that's him at the end there. At least then I can have somebody who has at least a healing art. Because nobody else in my party has any. So I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk that. So that must be him at the end here. Must be. His friends aren't too high of level. Yeah, there he is. The REB. Oh, he just straight up fights me. Okay, well. <laughs> well. Time to get your strength down, get my strength up. Paralyze you guys so you don't attack a whole lot. And then, time to shred you with auto attacks. Why are these dudes attacking me? I'm just gonna shred them with auto attacks. Is what I'm gonna do. Get over here. Get auto attacks for a whole bunch of damage. Cool. Fiora, do good. Get booty bop. Uh, Ren could use some heals, but I can't exactly heal. Maybe even a different party would have been better here. Maybe, maybe. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. I probably should have switched to a better, stronger party. Yeah. Because it looks like this one's actually going to be tough. Well, this is a... Oh, we can topple. Let's do it. Let's just topple. No topple spike, I hope. Okay, freaking heal. Oh, he does have topple spike. It sucks. So I literally shouldn't attack him right now. So don't attack him. Dang it. Why, oh why? I'm going to die. Well, I got my health back from Ricky a little bit. If Agro could go on to Ryan, that might be nice. This is a little bit sketchy. This is very sketchy. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so Ryan took aggro. Nice. I don't know what Insect Awakening is. Oh, there's the heal from Ricky. I'm very glad I switched to him. We might still be able to do this. This is going to be, like, very, very tricky. Bonk. How about Sword Drive? I might actually do this just to be safe. Be safe instead of doing damage. Do a little bit of a heal. <laughs> just to be extra safe. Man, thanks. Like, we can definitely do it. It's just going to be very spicy. This is going to be very spicy. I may as well use this now. I don't think I'm going to get it during a chain attack. Come on, damage. We can totally do it with this team. My, oh my. Oh, we did it. Sweet. Another affinity coin. I don't know why this random freaking fly is attacking me. Or whatever it is. Weird flyer thing. Why are all these guys attacking me now? I don't get it. Well. I'm going to just shred him, I guess. I guess Rain's just gonna do a jump back kick for a hot second. I'll get myself some haste, and then I'm just gonna shred it with auto attacks for the rest of this. This is what I will do. Oh, there's the topple. Well, time to get shredded. <laughs> time to get shredded over here. Cool. Neat. Yeah, I probably would have been much safer if I had switched to a different party setup, but we just managed to do it with these three in this very strange party setup. Just managed to. There's a stream edge manual, but I guess I already had it. All right, who's next? <laughs> who's next, I suppose? So there's that level 81. Uh, we got two ones that I can for sure take and then one that I'll just mark on the map because it's level 95. So next is Prosperous Zeppar, which is between 18 and 19. Where? Apparently, it's over here, like, at the edge of the beach over there. I might have taken it out already. It's at very specific hours. I might... Wait, who do you still want affinity with, though, Fiora? There's Sharla. Do Rain and Sharla need affinity? Looks like. I'll throw in Sharla. <laughs> I'll just toss her in there, I suppose. So apparently it's only at like 1800, right at evening, that this one comes out, like right on the edge of the shore over here. It seems like. So let's get over here. I'll change the time to that. 
like this, and then you should be over here. I might have taken you out already. I don't know. I would have needed to have come here at that specific time before. Is this you? Nope, sure isn't. That sucks. Oh, that's probably you, isn't it? Oh, it most certainly is. Yes, indeedly do. The freaking massive one, of course it would be. That makes sense. Well, let's get some haste. Is what we do. Get some party gauge like this. And then, oh, I'll do some AoE to hit those guys. Bonk. And then I'm just gonna do some shredding with auto attacks. Or I'll just take them all out with this. Maybe. Well, that aggroed these guys, really? Well, time to take out a whole bunch of dudes in a chain attack. Well. Because that's a full party gauge on the spot anyway. Well, did I just take them all out? Don't know why the music got so intense. Just so many dudes came and joined in. My goodness. Well, that's another affinity coin from that unique pose, at least. There's at least that. You like all the things. So my chest. I wish there was a way to just like loot all really quickly. I wish. Too bad there is not. Alright, let's see here. So the last one that I can actually fight myself right now is Splendid Botus. Sounds familiar. I might have already might have already fought you, I'm not sure. I'm pretty darn sure I have. He's apparently right down here. At any time? Um yes, anytime. It looks like. Apparently right down this away. Splendid Botus, huh? It's one of these flying kind of mech on. Apparently it's around here? No. I think I've already fought it, right? I'm pretty sure I fought that over here. Oh, apparently it's like this way, not around the corner. Yeah, I must have already fought it because normally it's supposed to be like right here at like any time. I'm pretty sure I fought it when I came here that one time. I'm fairly certain. Okay, so he's probably done for. And then the last one here on this list is Wicked Salos at level 95 with clear weather. Is that the one at like the very top of the thing? Yes, it is, looks like. The one that's like right up here. I'll mark it. Bam! Just as a reminder that he's there. So I think that that's all the unique monsters that I can actually do right now. Because after Fallen Arm, there's... Mechonis Field, Central Factory, and Igniritha. And I've already done all of those. Like, I've already done every single unique monster that I could from all those areas. What? Because I know that those three get blocked off later. So, how many affinity coins are we left with after all that? So, we have a whole bunch more affinity coins available on, like, everybody now. So, I might just rethink my entire skill link situation. So, we're at 192 when the max is apparently 255. So definitely some progress, but, uh, I've probably missed a lot of unique monsters somewhere. Because the max in one playthrough is apparently 255. We'll get, like, about 18 or 19 more just from leveling up. But then the rest from Unique Monsters. Did I really miss that many? There's probably not a whole lot in Bionis Interior. I don't think I'm going to be ending this off with 255 Affinity Coins. I don't think. I will probably miss something. Well, we'll find out later, I guess. I'm probably going to take everybody's skill links off, I think. And then rethink everything. Actually, wait. I should have seen... Like, all the ones that increase experience and stuff, I'll probably leave on and stuff. 